the next characteristic of the language is language is conventional and changing let me tell you that the language is conventional conventional means it is traditional traditional means what the language is old and old old means what the language has the history it is prehistoric or it has come with the man from the birth of the man so this language is conventional means it is very old and it is changing so language is changing means language changes with evolution evolution means what uh, gradually the language goes to change and that is called the language changing and conventional means language has come from the birth of man and that's why it is conventional it is not the creation of today if we see that the language is of one day somebody will say that the language is of a for day of one day i will say no language is not the creation of one day it is the creation of many years it has the history it is conventional and it is changing it is the creation from generation to generation because we have seen that from the beginning of the world there are many generations came and with the coming of these generations this language has come to this man means to today's man this language has come from the generations to generations means many generations have brought this language to this today's man and so language comes from generation to generation it is also an institution this language is called the institution also because uh, the ins institution progresses the institution changes the institution grows the institution expands and finally that institution dies or ends in the same way the language also changes grows expands and dies so language is changing we can say language is open ended open ended means what this language ends before us open ended means this like means we write one sentence and again we write the second sentence uh, for example i will say i came i came it means it is my arrival we can say that it is my arrival i came means it is my arrival means when i say it is my arri arrival then the first sentence died so ended the first sentence ended so it is called the open ended so the first sentence dies and a new sentence comes to birth that is called language is open ended open ended means in front of us this language begins and ends and that's why it is called the open ended extendable extendable means language um, increases language uh, more and more sentences we can make out of this language so language extends that is extendable means i came means it is my arrival it is my arrival means i came i came means this is uh, this is the arrival uh, to you of mine so we can say like this means we can prepare uh, more sentences from one sentence and that's why we can say that the language is extendable and modifiable modifiable means we can make the modification we uh, can make the changes in the language and that's why uh, the language is called the uh, modif modifiable language especially the language uh, changes with words the language changes with words because uh, when the words enter into the language the language changes uh, for example we will see uh, she uh, she is my wife this is the sentence she is my wife so she is my wife 
these are the different words she is my wife but we can say that i am her husband i am her husband when we say i am her husband the first sentence changes and then second sentence also uh, changes so words so language changes with words phrases phrases means what phrases means verb phrases so we can say uh, he delivered a lecture so in this sentence delivered is the phrase so he delivered a lecture means he talked about the subject so he delivered uh, and he talked about the subject so here we can say that we we ended delivered and we took talked about the subject so we can change the phrases also and we can changes the language so it means that vocabulary words phrases sentences it means the vocabulary means as per the vocabulary the language changes and it becomes a language means words phrases and sentences come together and it becomes a language humans being human being uh, sorry human being bring these changes in the language means this language is changed always by the human beings because the human being makes discoveries makes innovations in language and that's why this language changes as per the Uh, rules of or as per the attempts of or as per the discoveries and innovations of the man and so this language changes with man's discoveries we can say and this man changes this language as per the need of the time as per the need of the time means the man needs something and that's why he finds out he searches out some words some phrases some sentences and he writes them as the language and in this way the language changes as per the need of the time but this language changes with a slow motion this language does not change in one day uh, we cannot say that okay today i will change the language we cannot say this language changes uh, with a with a slow motion that is Uh, with evolution means gradually this language changes means uh, this language can change uh, 10 years means one decade two decades can be taken by this language to change or uh, can be taken by man to change this language though thus though thus it becomes modern means language as the language changes it becomes modern no doubt at all but it is conventional also means this language is conventional also that is very old also which has come from man's birth means man it is said that there is a god and this god has created this earth this universe and he has given the man Uh, upon this earth and this man has started to speak this language and uh, from generations to generation this language has been changing and that's why this language is modern also this language is conventional also uh, there are some factors like war like travels there there are some uh, factors like commercial exchanges there are some uh inventional attempts there are some discoveries there are some migrations all these factors also change the language means the language is changed by these factors if the war happens then the language changes if the if the man is doing business the language changes if some invention is there the language changes if some discoveries are there the language changes and if man goes from this place to the second place that is called the migration if migration is there uh, also the language changes and so these are the factors so we change the language from time to time so language is changing 
and conventional also. These factors bring changes into the language and thus we can say that language is changing. Language changes thus with the passing of two or three decades. It means that after 10 years, decade means what? 10 years. After one decade or after two decades, this language goes to be changed, means the language changes. So language is called changing language. But there are still such old words it means that though language is changing, but there are still many words in this language which are very old words, very conventional words. And by those conventional words, we can say that this language is conventional because they are from the religious books, they are from the holy books. And uh, suppose we can say that Ramayana, Mahabharata, the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, uh, fr uh, through these uh, uh, holy books, uh, we have got uh, these uh, words and that's why uh, these old words have come to us and that's why we can say that language is old. Language is old means language is conventional, we can say. Every language has the history of the olden times. We can say that every language is there and this every language has the history of the olden days, olden times, so means it has the old times, it has the history, means it has come from the birth of the man. There are the holy books in which the old language is available, means if we want to study the old language, we, if we want to study the traditional language, conventional language, then we can see that conventional language in the books of the holy saints or in the books of classical uh, saints or classical writers. So here today we have seen the characteristic of the language which is called uh, the language is conventional and changing. Thank you. Thank you very much.